Hey guys, Matthew McAvoy again for tutorial two of how to use Excel. Some quick tips. We're going to review real quickly. Up on the top left hand corner, you have your quick tools. If you hover over them, they show you exactly what they do. And if you want to add more, just hit, click this little down arrow, and there's a whole bunch of options there. There's even more commands, you can look through all of them. If there's one you find that you're using a lot, you can add it. Um, like I said last time, I always add spell check because I use it a lot. Up here we have our ribbons, the home, insert, page layout, all the way through. Um, I always stay on the home button. It's the one, the home ribbon, sorry. It's the one I use the most. And as we go through, there's some copy paste, font, alignment, numbers, style, cell, editing. We're going to use some of this stuff t today. Um, right here this shows us the name of the box or the cell that we're actually in and this is our formula bar. Um, as before your columns go across with your ABC's, your rows go down with your one, two, threes. Um, one of the things I didn't show you guys last time for a quick for quick movement within Excel, if you want to go across the columns, just hit your tab button, as I'm doing right now. If you want to go down your rows, hit the enter button. Just makes it a little bit quicker, so you don't always have to use your mouse. As I showed you last time, Excel counts for you. As you put in one, two, three, at least three numbers, and then wait until your cursor or mouse becomes the solid cross, drag it down as far as you want and it will count for you if you don't know how to do that already. Um, some of the other items that I want to show you guys tonight is how Excel will perform a formula for you. Um, last time we used the sum button um, tonight I'm just going to show you if you're having to do some math write in Excel you can pretty much do any equation you'd like we're just going to keep it pretty simple um, let's say I wanted to do uh, 12 times 120 if I hit the equal sign and then put 12 multiplied by 120 hit enter and Excel performs that multiplication for me. If I click on the cell, we notice two things. In the actual cell is the correct answer, but up in the formula bar, it shows me the formula that I used to get my answer. Um, another neat thing that you can do with Excel is you can put in individual numbers, and in this one, we're going to hit equals. This cell multiply by this cell and as you can see in B6 um, the cells that I'm using are color coded and highlighted in that specific color I'm going to hit enter I have the same exact answer and let's look at what the cell is doing <clears throat> in B6 I have the answer in my formula bar, it's telling me exactly what I've done to get that answer. I'm multiplying whatever is in cell B4 times whatever is in cell B5. The nice thing about this is if I need to change a number, maybe I entered it wrong, I can just change one of them and Excel will still perform the multipl multipl multiplication for me, which is very nice. Another wonderful thing about Excel is you can easily move things around. If I did not want that answer to be in cell B2, I can select it, wait, hover over until my cursor turns into um, arrows pointing in all four directions, and click on it. And now I can actually move this cell wherever I would like. I can drop it there. And you'll notice the answer is still correct and the formula that I used is still applied even though I moved it all the way over to cell E3. 
And if I want to move it back really quickly, just hit the undo button. Another nice thing about Excel, any information you don't want, if I wanted to delete everything in column B, just select it and hit the delete button. Alright, let's move on to some newer stuff also. We're going to pretend that we're a teacher and we have six students, so I don't need 7 through 12. I'll just delete those. Uh, we have Orion, Tyler, and we're going to be keeping track of their test scores. Um, if I had forgotten right off the bat to enter a heading or a title for this, um, instead of having to manually drag everything down a cell, um, Excel will do it for us. If I come over here and select row 1 and right click it and hit insert, it automatically shifts everything down one cell. You can do the same thing for columns. If I right click it and hit insert, it will move everything over to the right. That's very important to remember. Um, with rows, it will insert a new row above and if you're inserting a new column it always inserts it to the left. Now if I don't want it to look like that I can just right click the column and select delete and everything goes back to being next to each other. So I can put up here students. and let's say we're keeping track of their test grades <clears throat> now test grades is a little long and doesn't fit perfectly in that cell so if I go right in between column C and D till my cursor or mouse changes to the arrows pointing in opposite directions and just double right click and cell C column C automatically will change to the width of the largest item within that entire column. Another way you can do it is right click and it gives you a whole bunch of options but you can also do column width and if there's a specific width, width you want it to be you can just enter it right there. Right now it's good so I'm going to hit cancel and we're going to do some fake grades for everyone. I'm going to say everyone got a 90. I don't have to go through and put 90 in every single one. I can just select, wait till my cursor changes, pull down, and look at that. Everyone got a 90. Um, but just to show you the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to change up a couple of these grades. Uh, a couple people did really well. Alright, the next very helpful and useful tool on Excel is the sort and filter. Uh, it's right up here, quick and easy. So if I want to alphabetize everyone um, by first name and make sure their grade comes along with them, I want to select the name and the grade, come up here to sort and filter, hit it once, it gives me a whole bunch of options, um, and I just want to do A to Z. And there you have it, it has now alpha alphabetized the students by first name, and their grades moved with them. Alright, well that's all I wanted to show you guys tonight. Um, if you found this helpful, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Uh, if there's any questions you have with Excel, uh, write it in the comments. Share this with your friends. I'm more than willing to do more. 
Um, I think the next tutorial I'm going to do, I'm going to go over the mode, mean, and medium. Um, then after that, I'm going to go over formatting. And then I'm going to make another video where we add in graphs and charts because um, that stumps some people. All right. Well, if you guys want to know more about me and my, my man, if you guys want to know more about me and my family, we'll put our Facebook links in the description down below. If you also want to know how we're able to stay at home and have an income and live our dreams, we'll put a link in that will let you know how you could also do that. All right. Thanks, and have a great day.